I'm not going to lie, after seeing this image, I, I can't get the image of two Batman kissing out of my head. It's great. Hey guys! Egon. So I was umming and ahhing for a couple of hours about making this video because I woke up to the posts of this photo uh, over Instagram, Facebook, and I didn't know if it was legit or not. To the point of actually reaching out to a friend of mine who worked on Hugh Jackman's Wolverine costume for Deadpool 3, most notably the fabric, the textured fabric, and then they send that fabric off to the costumers, the in-house costumers at Marvel, and then they make the Deadpool suits, and of course, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine suits. And I sent him this photo, I said, dude, is this legit? Because I really want to talk about it. I've been holding out, waiting to see what this looks like, um, as opposed to us seeing the rest of the suit. He came back and said, yeah, that pretty much is what we got with the concept art including the full suit. He goes, I remember those eyes, everything. So I'm like, okay, very good. Asked a few more people, apparently it's legit. Regardless or not, there is a very interesting plot point and caption that is accompanied with this photo. So it's pretty obvious, massive spoiler alert. If you don't want anything else spoiled from Deadpool 3, then click off this video. I, I know there have been a lot of things with the set photos and whatnot, to the point that I even put a mock post up of me as Wolverine when I did the Wolverine cosplay last year, photoshopped into the set photos. I put it on Instagram and it's got over like 8,000 likes. Like it's one of those ones where you put a low effort post up and it does so fucking well as opposed to a post that you put a lot of effort into, a project you put a lot of effort into and people are just like, eh. and some people in the comment section, they lost their minds saying, why did you spoil it? I didn't need to know that they put another Wolverine in Deadpool 3. I'm like, my guy, uh, it, uh, it was great. It was probably one of the best gets I've done in years. I didn't even try. So anyway, today's video is about the supposed reveal of Hugh Jackman's Wolverine cow for Deadpool 3. Not only that, there's a very interesting tidbit that accompanied this photo. It, it, the source comes from, can we get toast? Is that correct? Yeah, can we get toast? This is a scooping page, they put it up. So of course, spoiler alert, if you don't want the cow reveal, that's why I've obviously blurted out on the thumbnail. So three, two, one, let's check out this cow. Now, first and foremost, this is concept art, but this is apparently the final design and look for Hugh Jackman's Wolverine cow. And right off the bat, it's perfect. Like they've got it. It's comic accurate along with the suit. Uh, what's interesting, if you look to the side, there is a caption that reads, just wait until the sleeves are ripped off eye emoji. So is this indicating that there is one point in the film where Hugh Jackman's sleeves on his Wolverine costume are going to be ripped off and then we have final form Wolverine with the comic accurate cow and the comic accurate suit. If this is the case, I am all for it. People even hinted and mentioned when I did the costume reveal breakdown all those months ago when we first saw Hugh Jackman in the Wolverine suit, that they suggested that maybe the sleeves are going to get ripped off or there's a plot point where they just get removed or whatnot. I just thought it was because Hugh Jackman is very sun cancer sensitive. He, he does have a history of sun cancers and getting them removed and he was just a bit more conscious for his arms being exposed in the sun when they're shooting outside. But if this is the case, sounds good to me. There have been some people saying, I really hope this cowl is not nanotech, like what we saw with Tony Stark in the later Avengers films, and the Iron Man films, that his suits do indeed become nanotech. And nanotech has become a thing in the MCU, also with Tom Holland's Spider-Man. And I wouldn't say it's just like a cheap write-off, but I don't know, it kind of just takes away from the physical thing being on your head and taking a helmet off for that badass reveal. I want it to be a physical helmet. I want to see it get severely battle damaged at the end of Deadpool 3. That would be great. I don't want any of this nanotech. We obviously have seen the set photos and set videos, Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman on set, and Hugh Jackman is not sporting the cow. Apparently, it's still a work in progress, but it will be in the film, and this is what we see right here. Now, again, I can't get the image of two Batman kissing out of my head. Once you see it, you cannot unsee it. But design-wise, it looks brilliant. I can't wait to see it on Hugh's head if this is indeed the final design. In terms of the lenses, I'm all for it. The lenses would be a nice touch. Without the lenses, fine, but I think we don't see enough lenses on helmets in comic book movies. So I really think this would be great and just bring it up a few notches in terms of Wolverine comic book accuracy, especially if those sleeves are indeed going to get ripped off. Now, some people have already had their feedback in terms of this photo and they go on to say, please don't be nanotech, please don't be nanotech, please don't be nanotech. Another one, this is clearly fake, even if I'm wrong. 
and it's real, it's definitely going to be nanotech. So sensing a bit of a theme here with the nanotech. And I don't blame them. I don't want nanotech either. To me, it just seems like a cheap write-off in terms of writing. Doesn't look like Hue. Don't know how accurate it is. Mm, yeah, it kind of does look like Hue. It does. I think it does. Uh, this one I love. This comes from a lone wolf. Can't wait to see him wear it for all of two minutes. I hope that's not the case. Like, I want him to get the helmet, especially for the climax of the film. I want to see a battle damaged hanging off his head, and he's got to rip it off, and he's, like, healing. There's, like, fragments of the helmet embedded in his head, and he's pulling him out. I'm getting way too excited. And then the last one, nanotech. Dut, 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 dut. Again. Please don't let it be nanotech. You're better than that, Marvel. So if you guys have stuck around to the end of this video and have indeed seen the reveal concept art of Hugh Jackman's Wolverine cow from Deadpool 3, what are your thoughts? I think it's great. It's hard to fuck up a Wolverine cow. Like we obviously got a glimpse of a Wolverine cow and a Wolverine costume at that deleted end sequence of the Wolverine, which I think just would have been great to see Hugh sport. Like, we've never seen Hugh wear the cowl before, so this is a monumental event for us Wolverine nerds and comic book nerds in general. But like that person stated, I don't want it to be a two-minute thing just for the sake of having him wear the cowl and then it's gone. It needs to be part of the story. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts. Tomorrow morning, I'm seeing The Beekeeper with Jason Statham. I don't know how to feel, but it looks like an absolute hoot. So I'm going to have my review up for that tomorrow. Hope you have a good day. Love you guts, and I'll catch you in the next one.